For those of you who purchased a one-side student mannequin, we'll demonstrate how to assemble that now. Let's begin by assembling the boom. First, unscrew the screw from the base of the boom and place the boom in the back left corner. Flip the base over and reinsert the screw from the bottom of the base. Take your Allen wrench and tighten it down all the way. Now flip the base over, take the right leg and remove the screw from the bottom. Put the peg into the hole on the rear right side of the base and turn the foot so that it covers the front hole. Now using your thumb, hold this, the back of the peg, and flip over the base and insert the screw and tighten down with your hand as far as you can. And just as with the boom, we're going to take the Allen wrench and tighten that peg down as well. Flip it over again and make sure that the foot is aligned again over the hole. Now take the peg part of your screw on your boom and look, it doesn't match. So what you can do is just tighten it down. When it gets to the right height, fit the peg into the hole of your pelvis and push in firmly. If you have this top to your boom, it'll screw in at the top of the plastic tube. You'll notice that the alternate top has five screw holes in it. The hole that you need to use for the push pin is on the side that has only one screw hole. Now, let's put the axial on. First, you want to take out the screw that is on the sacrum. Now, take the sacrum hole and align it with the hole in the pelvis. Replace the screw and tighten. Take the Allen wrench and tighten in the screw. Make sure that you don't tighten it too much, but you want to tighten it enough so that the axial does not move on its own. Finally, we'll put on the arm. Unscrew the bottom screw. Line up the bottom hole of the scapula with the bottom hole of the standoff and insert the screw. Take the Allen wrench and tighten it down. Now remove the top screw. Now rotate the arm. Place the screw in the top hole of the shoulder blade and the top standoff. And again, tighten it down with your Allen wrench. If you have taken out the standoff, the way you can tell to put it back together correctly is the letters are facing towards the back of the model. You will also notice there is an R for right and a triangle pointing up. Now we've completed the right-sided model. The assembly process is the same for a left-sided model. One advantage of a half model is that now you can build the internal body systems.